Hello, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Today's project inspiration tutorial um, is going to be um, Crocodile 101 and 102. So this uh, video was inspired by um, Antonio Makes, and if you go to his Facebook page, um, you can find the link to his channel. I'll put all that below. But um, he did a video the other day that I watched, and um, he had a love-hate relationship with this crocodile. And I did, too, at one time. But I'm going to try to take some of the kinks out and make it very easy because I'm a very simple person. So what you're going to need today is um, just a piece of paper that we're going to play with. What we're going to actually make is I uh, just did this little card. And, again, I was inspired by Antonio Makes. I'll put his link below. And like I said, um, this is a uh, piece is printed off of my vellum translucent tracing paper. And I use that a lot. And I glued this, um, these words down that I had cut out. And I put some glue on them and they came through pretty cool. And then this uh, butterfly is the vellum butterfly. And the, the kit I'm using for these cards was um, from Antonio. And I just like the background. This is not what we're going to use today because I've already printed mine on cardstock, but I wanted to show you the image. It's so beautiful. But I'll, I'll cut this up and use this for vellum or strips, washi strips or something. And the other image is I use the butterflies, and you can take any of your butterfly images. But this was from a Bridget Brainard, and it was um, from a group I was in, and um, it was a free digital. But you can use any of your butterflies. I just picked this because it had the black butterflies in it, but you've all got butterflies. So this also was a freebie from Antonio. So I was just going to cut some of these banners out. And um, I was just writing on them, but you could ink on them or stamp on them. I just wrote on this one. And I think this would be a good, like, just a masculine kind of card. Or, you know, sometimes you just want to give something to someone you can write on the back and pop it in an envelope. Okay, so you're going to need um, your crocodile. I have um, mama and baby here. And um, we can take our images out of here for now. So I've cut out, I just um, trimmed the paper and then I just cut these equally, okay? And then um, today I was going to just show you um, different ways you can mark your page. Let me move this over. And um, I use this corner punch that I had from Creative Memories. And it does these little um, points. You can see it better that way. So I was going to use that as my guide. So what you want to know about the crocodile is size. Oh, it's all about size, okay? So there's on this one, there's two sides. There's the um, one eighth side here, and the three sixteenth side here. So that's the hole punch part, okay? So you would just put your paper in. Um, say you want a three sixteenth. You put your paper in. It goes up to one inch. In here so you could set this you could turn this dial and set this to wherever you want your holes to be so that if you're doing a project like this they're all going to be in the same place so you just punch and the next hole will be in the same place okay if you just leave it loose like this you know, and it's not really set in place. You just leave it loose, like some people forget. Um, you know, when you go in, it might be way up here, or it might be over here. You know, there's no consistency. So just lock it in place, okay? That was my first tip. Just slide this down, push this down, and lock it in place. Then all your things will be even. The same thing with the um, one eighth. And so for that, we're going to um, punch these corners here. Okay, so I've got this little, we'll do it on the wrong side so you can see. So I've got this little divot here. When I put this in, look 
okay? I know that these are all going to be equal because I've got my I've got my lock in place here. Okay? So all my holes are even. They're not all, you know, all over the place. They're all even. So, um with this one, you have up here, you have the one eighth. Okay, one eighth, three sixteenths, and this is um, where you would set your eyelet. Okay, so we'll go to the one eighth because that's what we're using here. And down here, and I press the handle down, you'll see this little, this little finger come out. Okay that's where you want to put your paper. So I'm just eyeballing. I'll do it on this side so you can see. So I'm going right where I just put that little point. So you can see it coming down. And it does the same thing with the um, 3 sixteenths, okay? <clears throat> the 3 sixteenths is just bigger, obviously. So I want these to be um, the smaller ones. So the only thing with um, this little one is that the dots get stuck in there, the holes. So let's finish cutting this one. So again, I've got my thing locked. And I'm just putting it in here. And yeah, it's all about just learning a learning curve, okay? I have I've always had this junior, but I got mama for um I think I bought it for a Valentine's present for myself because my hands are really hurting and that helps. Now, with the mama, with the mama, let's just get these holes out of here. This is, like I said, only goes in one inch, one inch. So if this was maxed out, the lever's all the way back. This is as far as it goes, okay? So that doesn't help you if you're doing like um, an insight. Pretend this was your signature. This, you could mark your, um, if you were an accurate kind of person, you could mark your, for instance, where you wanted your holes, okay? That's not even, 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 even. And then you could just put this in, and remember, I told you, that there's this, um, it comes down, watch here. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, let's make it 3 six, three sixteenths so you can see it better. So I'm gonna, I can go all the way, this goes all the way um, six inches in, okay? So I can either um, set this um, where I want it to stop, my paper. You know, you'd have to be a little bit accurate. I don't usually use that feature, but you could. And then I already marked my dots, so we're just going to find my dots. And my last one. Okay. Then you have perfect, perfect center dots. Okay. So that's the punching. That's sort of the easy part. Now let's use some of these holes that we created and put some eyelets in. Now you can write these numbers down because um, they'll be very helpful. I find that the eyelets that I like to use for the 3 sixteenths are 3 sixteenths eyelets. You get these, uh, I got these on Amazon and they were assorted. So 
Um, there's different kinds. I have some older ones in here that have like flower petals on. Okay, so these, <clears throat> you, you put them in. Now the key is to get, we'll do baby first, to get this top right. Okay, so for the 316th, you want, there's a base and then there's a, um, the top part. Okay, so the top part you want to be, this pops up and it twirls around. You want this to be A. There's C, D, A. There's a little A there. You can hardly see it, but you want it to be on A, and you want the base to be on 1. So again, lift it up and twirl it. Uh, 3, let's see. That's 2, 1. Okay. So for the 3 sixteenths, this is all it is, people. If you know these numbers, you're going to be fine. 3 sixteenths is A1. You've got your eyelid in there. Now we're going to use that. You need to put the top piece into that eyelid, okay? Okay, and then you just squeeze. And you flip it over. And I can squeeze a little bit more because it's not all the way down. So again, you want the top with the thing poking down. You want that to go in the hole and you just want to squeeze. Okay. So that one um, got a little mushy. Let's do another one. Let's do darker color so you can see. So you put your eyelid in, and this is at A1. You want the top to go down, and you want to give it a squeeze. And now these flare out, so that's perfect. To do do it on the big guy, big boy. Again, you want A1. Okay, the top you want A. So, um, let's see, that's, that's A, so you want A, and the bottom you want 1, so you put your cube up and you just twirl it, that was 3, 3, 2, 1. Okay, when you're looking at close, it'll show you. You can see the numbers. And then just pop it in. Okay, so you have your A1. A1. And then this has to go up here. There's an eyelet. Okay, so now your um, release will be up front. Okay, so we're going to put our eyelet in. And because we're using the bigger one, we can go anywhere we want on the page. And you're just going to put it there and give it a squeeze. Let's try a different one over here. Let's put it in the middle. So you're doing a signature and you want an eyelid in there. Stand up this time. Okay. That, my friends, is how to use um, mama and baby eyelet. So now let's put some eyelets in here. And this size, if you remember, I said was um, one eighth. Okay, so we use the one eighth um, crocodile. Okay, and so that one. The setting is going to be, the top will be at 3. And the, oh, that's the bottom. So it's C3. A, B, C. C3. 
Okay, so C3. So you've got your um, eyelet, it's a little pokey thing on top. Okay, so these we're going to use, these are um, a three millimeter, one eighth inch, and these I got from Amazon. So these I want to match because um, we'll use this for the project. So let's uh, take, these were assorted colors. Maybe not the best colors, but that's okay. It's just to show you. Okay, so we've got four of them here. So we're going to put them in, the same as we did the other one. And um, we'll do both of these uh, so they're both set up. Okay, this is C3. And let's make this C3 as well. Two. One, two, C, three. Okay. okay, so they're both set up. This is over at the um, eyelet. So we'll do this one first. So we're going to put it in. Remember the top has the little thing that comes down. So you put that on here. And squeeze. Okay. And put it in. And it's a small one. So what's the number? C3. Oops, I um, got ahead of myself here. And huh, this has never happened. So, see if that one's damaged. Let's just do another one. Yeah, I didn't have, okay, what happened was I didn't have this cube all the way down, okay? See? You gotta make sure it's locked in. Okay, let's try that again. I don't think I damaged anything. Okay, Junior, do your thing. Okay. So, make sure that's. I had one that was. That's over there. Okay. Now we're going to put it in um, Mama over here. So, put her in. And just let her find her way. Okay. If you need to tighten it a little bit, you can... Tighten it. Okay, and then one more. So I hope those numbers help you. That helped me immensely when I figured that out finally. Okay, so we're not going to use these right now because we're going to just decorate this one here. So, so we took our card and um, we're going to cut out one of these butterflies. Well, I put the red there, so let's just do it. one of these. Uh, one of these black ones. Oh, 
Okay, I'll cut my pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I cut some elements out of here. And um, this also was from that same kit. There were some plants and some um, banners. And, um, you know, support our artists are kind enough to give us these um, freebies. I'm, you know, I'm going to bless to use them. So, and Antonio, if you're listening and you come to the States, you bring your crocodile mama and baby, and we'll go for a coffee. That's that's a promise. So we're going to um, just use some of our um, Gilder's Paste Wax and um, just ink up the corners a little bit. It's kind of hard to see on here, but it gives it a little a little finish. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't design kits, but I sure am blessed to use them. So, I appreciate all these artists who, who share with us. So, take that gold right off my finger. Okay, so, we have... Um, We'll pop some of this up. Let's see. Uh, got to ink my take some of this white off. Probably Monday when you're seeing this. So I hope you all had a good weekend. That goes there. And this is way too white for me. Okay. So let's see. Let's put this over here, and I'm picking up the red in the eyelids. I apologize if you hear my husband. He's trying to get the dog in. All 10 pounds of Shih Tzu love out there trying to um, stir up the neighborhood. Chewy says, I'm here. Everybody should be awake and come out and play. Then we have just this little baby one I'm just going to put in here. And just add a little... And then um, this one was the vellum, and I left a piece on there because I like to paint splatters, and I don't want to feel like take my paint out. So um, just gonna thinly put some glue along the edges. Today is filming day, and I put some corned beef and vegetables in the crock pot. And I'm laying this flat. I realize that now, but that's okay. And um, it smells so good in here. And then we're just going to put this over here. And I'm going to wait and put a sentiment on it, okay? Because I'm not sure what I want to say. I might use a stamp or something. So, there you have it. Two beautiful freebies. 
and I have two more cards to make later. So I hope you are encouraged to um, appreciate the artists out there who are giving us these um, lovely things to create with. I uh, use them in Antonio's. You owe me a copy with our crocodiles. So come to the States and we'll hook up. Okay, bye now.